Jin Dobri Chesh and hello. Today, guys, I'm going to be making a video about the seven fun facts about Poland. This is something that I actually wish I knew before going over to Poland for the first time. So yeah, it's just some fun facts and knowledge. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so number one on this list is Poland has it all. And this is in regards to landscape. Poland has mountains, it has beaches, it has hills. And guess what? There's actually a desert in Poland. It's called Budov or something like that. Budov. And it's actually a place that I want to go to one day for sure. But Poland has everything. I mean, if you want to go to the mountains and ski, okay, that's great. Or climb and hike and all that, you can do that. If you want to go to the beaches, you can also do that. So Poland has everything, making it kind of unique, actually, in this respect. This is just something that I didn't know about Poland before going over, and it's something that I learned there traveling around and just seeing the mountains by myself and staying all the way as far south as Zakopane and as far north as Gdańsk. I feel like Poland surprised me in this respect because it has so much to offer, and I thought it was just going to be some flat country, kind of like the Netherlands, no offense to the Dutch, but yeah, it's not. Poland has it all, and it's so beautiful, you gotta visit. All right, so the next one on this list is not really a fun fact, but it's more of an interesting fact, and that is that most of the old towns are actually remodeled after World War II. So most of the old towns aren't actually really old. They're more of just built to actually look old because in World War II, most of them were destroyed completely. Some of them still are actually old. In fact, some of them aren't completely destroyed in some towns and areas. But for example, like Warsaw, I'm pretty sure the entire old town is built new. You can see some landmarks and things like that that actually have World War II remains on them or their, you know, half of the building is up. To pay tribute to world war ii so this was pretty surprising to me because whenever i went over to warsaw for the first time i really thought that the old town was in fact old and it's not but i know they do a good job making it look like the old town so you can still go and catch that vibe all right so the next one on this list is smingus dingus this is pretty interesting and this is something new that i completely learned going to poland so this is mainly found in like polish folk areas so this isn't just in poland it's also found i think ukraine czech republic hungary think you know areas like that so what this is is guys will throw water onto women and i think they hit them with a willow tree branch or something like that and um, don't ask me why because I literally have no clue and in fact I would like someone in the comments to kind of explain it a little bit more um, but yeah this isn't really practiced a whole lot in today's society but I think it's just really kind of like a folk thing that folk people do um, but yeah tell me a little bit more about that in the comment section down below because it's pretty interesting so yeah definitely a fun fact for that one all right so number four on this list is poles actually celebrate name day now how this works is it's kind of like a birthday and once a year you celebrate that name so everyone that shares that name with you is celebrated in regards to your name i'm not really sure why or the origins about it but it's a thing and uh, Polish people do it. So it's pretty interesting. And I did not know that before going over to Poland. And uh, yeah, another fun fact, I actually don't have a Polish name. So yeah, Trevor isn't found in Polish names at all. So I guess I'll just go by Tadeusz if I ever even want to celebrate that. All right, so number five, this one definitely shocked me, okay? Which is that Poland has the largest castle in the world, okay? Not just in Europe, but in the world and this completely surprised me because I thought you know there would be an area like somewhere in Austria or maybe England or Scotland or something like that that had the world's largest castle but no Poland has something known as the Malbrook Castle it's kind of in the northern area so I think it's just slightly south of the three cities Gdynia, Gdańsk and Sopot so this is in an area that I haven't been yet but it's an area that I have to go one day it's on my bucket list so yeah I would highly recommend checking this out and putting it on your list so you can tell people that you visited the world's largest castle and I think there's a whole list of history about it too different nations conquering it over time and so if you're a history buff you definitely have to check it out all right so number six on this list is actually poland is now the fourth world's largest exporter of video games so yeah there's actually a lot of popular games that come out of poland the biggest one that i know is called witcher it's by a game company called project red and they make a bunch of games i'm pretty sure but the witcher is their most popular and a lot of people that i know that play video games have played the witcher series and say it's probably one of their most favorite games that they've ever played so yeah it's just something interesting and definitely a fun fact to know about poland all right so the last one on this list and number seven is poland can actually fit in the state of texas 
and if you were able to turn it around just slightly it would actually pretty much just align in the state of New Mexico which is crazy to think of because it's really not that big when you look at the map of Europe it looks pretty big but in fact most of the countries in Europe are really kind of the size of our states in the US so if you look at the map just know you can pretty much travel I think to each corner within I think around 12 hours but that's always changing now due to the building of their roads and highway system right now that's going on all right guys and this has been the seven fun facts about Poland I hope you learned something new if you did let me know in the comment section down below or if you would like to tell me a new fact that I don't even know myself then let me know in the comment section down below and as always Dziękuję i do widzenia